Hi everybody, welcome to In Pillow Talk, another awesome, awesome time, awesome day. We're grateful to God for his mercies. Yes, we saw it. We made it through, through the 2021, through the trials, through the situations, through the obstacles that we all encountered. You're still here. There are people who had everything you were praying for and are not here. There are people who didn't have and still prayed, but are not here. But you made it. So first of all, I appreciate God for bringing us this far. That even though most of our prayer request was not answered, he had better plans for us. He says, for the plan he has, a plan of good and not evil. So we know that anything evil is not from God. He has good plans. He has good plans to prosper us. So maybe most of us would have looked at our lives and said, but I've not prospered. Nothing has changed. Actually, things have even gotten worse. Oh, I've been praying and I've been asking, where is this God? The God that I prayed for, how come my own things were not answered? How come, how come, how come? The first thing I remind you, God is not a man to lie on his words. He has never lied. He will not start with you. Ask, look. Actually, this morning I got up and I was cleaning a cupboard. I cleaned the outside, I opened, and I knew I needed some time to spend to do the inside. I just closed it. But the outside looked immaculate, perfect, clean. But the inside had issues. And at this point, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He spoke to me, sorry. Some of us just spend time on the outside and not on the inside. If we think we'll keep the inside dirty and spend time on the outside, and expect God to answer us on the outside, we deceive ourselves. Let nobody deceive us. God cannot be mocked. He cannot be fooled. Christ didn't. He couldn't. You and I will not have a chance. There is a level of sacrifice. There is a level of time you need. Patience you need. As I said this morning, that cupboard, I looked at it and I said, Lord, Give me the strength. Give me the patience. I need to sacrifice time to spend there, to arrange it and put it back to an order. I need to sacrifice that patience. I'm looking for the patience because everything seems to be moving very fast. I don't know. Sorry, my voice. Everything seems to be moving very fast. So you just think, why would I spend maybe three hours to arrange that uh, cupboard to put it right when I can see what I need and I move on? God is expecting us to actually sit and take an audit of our life. Re do a reflection. A personal reflection. A reflection not for you, but for between you and God. You still have a couple of hours before the end of 2021. So you can position yourself in 2022 to receive from God. 2021 came. And if you didn't take an audit of the year. If you didn't take an audit of what things we have seen. If, if you didn't ask God to open your eyes to see what, not what we were seeing physically, but what spiritually was happening. Of course, we have two kingdoms fighting. We all know that, you know, you're either God or you're Satan. There are no in between. There is no lukewarmness. There is a point we're entering where you're either one or the other. You cannot be lukewarm. You cannot have one look, one foot in Satan's kingdom and another leg in God's kingdom. They'll tear you apart and you'll leave, you leave the earth quicker than you ever anticipated. Allow God to order your steps, steps. And the only way you do that is total submission to him. Then and only then can you resist the devil. If you cannot submit to him, you cannot resist the devil. How do we submit? The biggest thing we all need to look at is unforgiveness. How many people have betrayed you, belittled you, that have caused a level of bitterness in you? And you're still, you, we all pretend, oh, I'm not going to talk to them. And then pretend, close your eyes and want to move into 2022. Look at how 2021 happened. The level of unforgiveness, bitterness you had in you. It ended the year almost the same way where you started. Because you were on your own. The Bible is clear. The roots of bitterness should not be seen in us. But it's hard. I know. Oh, believe me, we all have been there. It is hard. It's a work in progress. 
So we fall and we fall in the presence of God than falling in the hands of man or woman that they'll have a, an upper hand to direct and order your footsteps for you. But allow God to direct and order your steps instead. The next thing, take your plans to God and ask him which way he wants you to do and believe that he will do it for you. Some of us had prophecies and we sat down and expecting that the prophecies were going to happen. It will not happen. There is a doing that we all need to do. There are things we all need to position ourselves. Go in the Bible and read. No prophecy was given to somebody that just sat there and closed their hands and did nothing. When Mordecai reminded Queen Esther, this time, that is why you're in the palace, to pray for your people. She was a queen. She could have said, I'm enjoying. I have all the luxuries, everything I need plus more. Why should I waste my time? He called the dry fast. We call it the Esther fast. And said, let us seek God for favor to go and see the husband. Not even to ask God anything. A favor to go and seek the husband's face. Was not sure if they would allow her. But she was prepared. She'd given her all. She said, well, Lord, if I live, I live. If I die, I die. So you're the deciding factor. Have that leap of faith in God. Let God order our footsteps. Fear has consumed all, all of us. The fear of dying is what controls us. I leave you with something that um, Brother Kevin, a man of God that I listened to, said. I remember him saying, he said, one of his conferences in the States, there he said, who is ready to die? Everybody went quiet. Children of God, powerful tongue, tongue speaking and everything, but nobody was ready to die. And he turned around. He says, we are so scared of dying, so we have not even learned to live. When you learn to die, die to self, die to everything you see, you can then live for Christ. Because your steps will be ordered. You're not, nothing is dragging or holding you on. Or making you fearful. You know, we have made decisions under fear. Because we never look for God. But then when things go wrong, guess who we run to? We don't run to the people who made us make those decisions. No, we start running to God. But when you were making the decision, did you ask God? The answer is no. Sometimes uh, this world, things always look so wonderful. I remember my mother once telling me all that glitters. It's not God. I have come to believe and know that all that glitters is not God. Don't look at other people's lives and question your own so much that you get bitter. Mm -mm. Look at your life. Ask, invite the Lord. Submit to him. He is a God that can turn around your situation more than you think. He's a God that took somebody from prison. And gave him a prime minister's position that he did not even apply for. He's a God who is able to give you homes that you did not build. He's a God who is able to give you wealth exceedingly abundantly, more than you can think or imagine. Let us position ourselves. Join me as we position ourselves, detoxing everything, dying to self, allowing God in. We came with nothing. But let the glory of God and the Holy Spirit control us more than ever as we hit 2022. The glory of God will locate us. In Jesus' name I pray. Love you guys. See you next year. God willing. Bye-bye. Hey, by the way, before I leave, thank you all for loving, for sharing, for liking it. Thank you for the comments. Join me. Speak. Let us all. This, I might just talk, but you can also do your part by asking questions so we can all learn, by sharing your own experiences so we can all learn from one another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Love you all. Bye-bye.